Okay, we're here with John Gullo. He um, is here in Ogden, but he's got pickleball going. He donated the money to do four courts up at Mount Ogden. And then tell me now, how many people do you have playing? We have, we have 150 people in the Ogden Pickleball Association. And uh, last, it, it's just growing continuously. We did our first tournament this year, and we had 120 people from St. George all the way to Logan be part of our first tournament. Really? Uh, it was pretty awesome. That's amazing, and that's in uh, a year and a half. You said that it's grown that far. Oh well, yeah, well uh, that was, the 150 was hit in, in 12 months. In fact, I winter in St. George, but I come back here one week a month, and this is my warehouse for my business, and I put a court in here. And I just did it for the fun, and we created an honor system, and we charge 15 bucks a month for club members. And so we have this thing going 12 months a year right here in Ogden. What else is going on with Ogden and Pickleball? Well, the most exciting thing is I got a phone call this past week because Tim Finger, you've probably talked already, he says, you know, if you can get kids playing Pickleball, you can create great tennis teams. So we got this into Roy Junior High School a year ago. Last This year we got it in Highland Junior High in the Ogden School District, and I got a phone call from Kate Bedeau from the Ogden School District and uh, Ed Bridge from Ogden City. We have a meeting scheduled. So I went to the meeting, and what's happening is the Ogden School District is putting pickleball into junior high and senior highs as a required PE class now, and Ogden City will be running a pickleball club-type tournament twice a year within the city. What really got to be fun is we organized this thing and we agreed to it. I got a phone call from Kate Bedeau said when he announced to the teachers that they had to have their pickleball people, their, their PE people at this clinic that we're having tomorrow, six grade schools said, we want this for our fifth and sixth grade. So, I mean, I, it just blown me away how this thing has grown and, and the more people contacted. And I, I think the great humor was, um, we, we're in Ogden, we're electing a new mayor. And, uh, Brandon Stevenson has come out and played, and I guess they were having a debate at Ben Lohman, and uh, KUTV uh, moderator asked, what would you do for the city? And he talked about recreation, and he mentioned bringing more pickleball courts here, <laughs> to which the guy from KUTV says, what's pickleball? <laughs> and this discussion was part of the, of the, the, the um, debate. I came home on Monday, and I have a voicemail. John, this is Mike. I'm running for mayor. I heard about this pickleball thing. Could you give me a phone call back and bring me up to date on it? So as where Mayor Godfrey has been very instrumental in helping us pull this together, I feel pretty assured that the mayor, whoever ends up getting elected, is going to be helping us promote this sport. It's a great sport. The, you know, the, I want to give you a commercial or two. First of all, when I started, I weighed 303 pounds. I'm down to 240 pounds. Wow. Uh, Terry our, uh, Corbridge, our trainer, who teaches everybody here, he's lost 50 pounds in one year playing the sport. But the best story is a lady by the name of Janae Penrod. She's 75 years old. Her husband had passed away, and she was pretty much given up. She came into this sport. She's our social chairman. She's 75 years old. She plays six days a week, two hours a day. It's given her a reason to live again. I, I think those are the stories that really really make this sport so it's so really neat. It's a social game. Everybody plays with everybody. Uh, we do open play four days a week and three nights a week, and it's just show up. You don't have to even have a partner. Everybody mixes. Everybody mixes. Well, that was the amazing thing when we got here and we saw the kids playing with their parents. I mean, that, that's that's a neat and, game. And, that and that's have. that's really my hope. But we get this into the schools. That's one of my hope is all of a sudden the kids are going, hey, mom and dad, this is really great. And it's not that an inexpensive game. If you go to the Ogden Golf Course where the courts are, you can rent two rackets and a ball for five bucks for an hour and a half. And it's a great introductory sort. Now, but it's like golf. If you get into it, paddles range in price and all kinds of things. But if you show up at the open play times, which is 9 o'clock every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, the people there will let you use their rackets. You, you can try it out. Uh, you can try it out and, and make your decision which way you want to go.